Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about which calls is it the voltage or the current? I bet a lot of you have asked themselves which one leads to the cause of death. On the other hand, a lot of people say it's the amp which kills. Well, there is some truth to it. It's basically a lot of crap and dangerously misleading. So in this video, we are going to make it clear as possible and easy to understand. Let's talk about the origins of this topic. In high school physics, everyone learns about the electricity and nearly every one of you have made the balloon experiment. When you charge your balloon with the electricity using friction, for example, and stick it to the wall, and the balloon is charged up to a couple of thousands of volts, and yet you still not to die. You will ask yourself, how is that possible? Here, the teacher will say, the balloon may has a lot of voltage, and the amp kills, not the voltage. On the other hand, you may get confused when you touch the pulse anode and cathode of your car's battery, and still, nothing happened. And you know, the car's battery has low voltage and high flowing current. Well, yeah, it's the amps which kills, but under conditions. And here's some of the standard safety guide about the amps, showing you how few milliamps could damage your body. To make it clear, you need to know Ohm's law, it's a linear relationship. Meaning, the more voltage you have, the more amps you have. And that is why it's misleading to say it's not the volt that kills you, it's the amps. On top of that, the resistance of the human body actually decreases when the voltage increases. Because of high voltage can break your skin resistance. And under that skin, there is blood and veins, and they have low resistance than your skin. So in higher voltage, your resistance becomes few hundred ohms rather than few kilo ohms. So things get worse and worse with the higher voltages. So the main idea, if you need to kill someone using electricity, you need to make sure of two things. First, you need to get enough voltage to break his resistance to make sure that the amps will go through his body. And the second thing is the source you have provides 6 milliamperes or more. That will do the job. But basically, you don't need to consider the amps because the voltage which can break the human resistance will normally have enough amps to kill him very quickly. To be more specific about the amount of volts, 50 volts or more is the amount which things start to be serious. And here is an example that's a power supply set to 30 volt and it's connected to me. And I'm measuring the current flowing through my body. It's roughly one milliampere and I already feel it. And here is a table shows that volts higher than 30 are dangerous and you must be careful while using it. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.